Hey there everybody, Amaranthine here, and we are starting up the next Castlevania game as the movie scrolls. And look at all of that atmospheric castle with mountains and there's all those colors and Oh yeah. Boom! Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. Little backstory here, let's go ahead and read it, shall we? During 15th century Europe, there lived a person named Dracula. He practiced sorcery in order to create a bad world filled with evil. He began taking over the continent of Europe, changing countries from good to bad. The good people of Europe tried to fight off Dracula, but no one was able to survive. Finally, the Belmont family was summoned to battle Dracula's vile forces. The Belmont family has a long history of fighting evil. And there's the vampire killer right there. That's a badass looking whip. The townspeople became afraid of the Belmont's superhuman power and asked them to leave the country. Fortunately, the people found a mighty Belmont called Trevor. That looks so epic. <laughs> the curse of Dracula has begun. The fate of Europe lies with Trevor. And then everything just... Uh, kind of resets after that. So, yeah, this is a prequel to the first Castlevania. So Simon Belmont is a descendant of Trevor Belmont. So this, as far as we're concerned right now, this is uh, the first encounter with Dracula. Okay, and we can name ourselves. Now there is, if you type in help me, you gain some extra lives. I don't know if I want to do that or not, or if I should just use my name, or, uh, uh, you know what, yeah, let's just go, perfect, alright, there's Trevor kneeling at some kind of a grave, I don't know whose grave that is, but there he is, Booyakasha, let's do this shit, Oh, badass music. Um, as far as atmospheres, oh my god, this game has stepped it up so, so awesome. So first we're in this little, like, uh, town that, I'm not sure if it's decimated or if that's just kind of shadows or what's going on. But, oh man, this is just, I mean, th this is an epic ass Castlevania adventure. It really is. And, uh, first stage in usual fashion is pretty damn easy. But, oh my god, and then look at this. Now all of a sudden we're like, we're in this church, but look how fucking beautiful. Oh, you bass! I didn't even see you! Oh, but look how beautiful the background is. I mean, oh my god, that's so crazy. All the, like, they stepped it up with the color schemes and stuff, it looks like. I mean, this is fucking just beautiful. So awesome. Alright, what's on the next screen? Alright, and we're at an upper level of that town. Not much going on, though. I still have a lot of health left. They, um... Oh, you bitch! They... Oh, God! They did a little bit better um, as far as the health is concerned compared to the first Castlevania. In the first one, I think it was um, three or four hits, no matter what, and you're done. Like, every time you got hit, it pretty much took off like a quarter of your damn health. And this time around, no. It, it's not like that, which is really nice. Alright, these floors right here, you jump on them, and they rotate. And that's important because of what's coming up right away with some recurring fucking enemies. Oh my god, they are so much worse in this game. Is there? Oh god. I would like to get a pork chop. A 
for- Oh, the Medusas! Oh, God. Nathaniel, pick of it. Get him. Fucking get him. <laughs> Do something, God damn it! Okay, see, look, and this is where it's bad, because... You'd like to jump over them, but if you land back on that floor, it'll spin and then knock you down. And then if you fall on the one below that, that counts as you jumping, and then you'll just fall to your death. And now, looks like... Are we, uh... I think we're exiting the town a little bit. Maybe get into the suburbs. We got some just, like, regular-looking houses. They do look trashed. And can't really say that I blame them. I mean, this place is infested with zombies and ghouls and shit. But look how much more area we're already exploring. Like, compared to the first Castlevania. Oh my god. I want to get over there. Can I... Oh, Hunchbacks! Hunchbacks! Okay, I got- Oh, you fuck! Well, I got him. Sir, please. Yeah, yes! Pork chop for me! Oh, there's another Hunchback. Okay, he's down there. I should be safe, right? Oh, shit, not when there's another one. Oh! Get off! Get okay, okay. Mmm! Oh, oh, I got it! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some bats, some ghouls. Nothing too bad. The, uh, the ghouls, they're, they're like those, um, ghost-type things. If you remember the first level of Castlevania, they'll just spawn infinitely as long as you stand still. So now we're in a graveyard. That's nice. Ooh, I smell a boss fight. All right. Look at him. He looks pretty badass. But, oh my god. You easy as shit boss. Oh my god. Oh my god. And he's done. <laughs> There's our traditional orb. And stage number one has been completed. That is fantastic. Alright, there's our map, but here's something new that was added to this game. We can choose where we want to go. If we want to go up or down, I will make my choice in the next part. I'll see you guys then.